Hello Super0. So today we're gonna to learn how to type in Cesura and breath marks the right way in finale. Uh, and these are gonna be positioned correctly and will appear consistently on every single part that you have and are actually really easy to use once you set up. So let's dive in and look at how to make it. So first of all, your first thought might be, okay, I want to create an articulation using the articulation tool. So like for instance, if I have a dummy note and I want an articulation, you'll see that, okay, there's a caesura and there's also a breath mark. Now there's a couple things about that. One, these are always defined based on the note itself. So it doesn't matter if the note is, you know, this wide, or how big the measure is, or what is, or what it is. It'll always be positioned right here. However, this caesura is actually attached to the note and not to the space right before the next note. For instance, if I were to just make this measure obscenely large, we would want the caesura here because it, it's supposed to be a break right before the next note, not a break right after the note you just started playing. And the same thing goes for a breath mark. Like if we have a breath mark, it is positioned just like that as well. You can start moving it around like over here, like, okay, I want to move that over here. However, then if you go to the parts, and then it just is in the completely wrong spot because remember, it's attached to the note, not to the space right after it. Plus, it doesn't work terribly well because it, since it's a hard articulation, it has to be attached to a note. We can't just have a caesura in a silent part where someone's resting. So how do we fix this? We fix this using expressions. So I'm just gonna back up until we have nothing here again, like that. And let's start building an expression. So come over here to our expression tool, double click, I like putting it under technique text, but you can put it wherever you want, like that. If if you were really wanting to go above and beyond, you could potentially even put it into tempo alterations, and it will appear on every single part automatically. And yeah, so we're gonna come down over here to technique text, create new technique text, make sure you have Maestro selected, and let's start with a scissor row. Now with Maestro font selected, we just hit shift, single quotes, in other words, just like we're typing normal double quotes, and there we go, we have Caesura. So for instance, if we're gonna hit okay, 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 now I see, yeah, we have a Caesura in the score. However, that's not how I personally like it um, positioned. So we're gonna come back here, edit, and we're gonna come up here to the positioning tab. Unselect, use technique category positioning. And then we're gonna change some of these settings. So first of all, uh, we want to do, yeah, left of all note heads, that looks good, negative 0.15. This is gonna be in inches, so negative 0.15 inches. Uh, and then over here, instead of above staff baseline or entry, we want above staff reference line. Staff reference line is just the very top line of the staff. Uh, instead of negative 0.25, let's do negative 0 0.075, basically half of that. Hit okay, you'll get this dialog box, hit assign, and then, cool, look, we have it right to the left of whatever note we were. So for instance, if we add in the half note right here, it's left of the half note. Normally, if I were to have this scissor right before a bar line, and at this point, notice that we did all this without inserting a single note. That way, we can put this on instruments that are currently resting. So now, um, you can start tweaking this a little bit. So for instance, normally, I put them like right before a um, right before a bar line. So I come up here to positioning. Instead of left of all note heads, we're gonna do right bar line. And that way, it'll appear right here, right before the right bar line, like that. And because it's an expression attached to the beat, or in this case, the bar line, that means if we move the measure around, or if there are no more notes or less notes, it's always going to be positioned correctly. So that's a caesura. Now for the breath mark. Now we're gonna do a very similar process for the breath mark. So let's say we want a breath like, I don't know, we have two notes, right? And we want a breath right, right here. We're actually gonna put the breath mark on that note right there. And so come up here to our expressions tool, create technique text, make sure you have Maestro font selected, comma. Back it's breath mark. Positioning, we're gonna do something similar, although it's not gonna be exactly the same. So first, unselect these technique category stuff, left of all note heads, we're gonna do negative 0.8 or 0 0.085 this time. Again, still images, staff reference line, and this time we want it above the staff reference line because that's personally where I like breath marks above the staff line. 
Tesoros are literally cutting off music, which is why I like them slightly intersecting the line. So above staff reference line, hit OK. The dialog box again, hit Assign, and there we go. It's right here, right before the note. And again, if I come over here, and I move the note around, the breath mark moves exactly with the note and is always positioned correctly. That's why you want to use expressions whenever you're trading caesuras or breath marks. So that's it for today. That's what we're going to cover over caesuras and breath marks. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content just like this. Each week I post new videos about how to use finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, make sure to hit the subscribe button below.